This week on Focus Asia. Digging up the past. Unearthing the clues to the extinction of Pakistan's dinosaurs. A monument for the disappeared. Where Sri Lankans remember their missing loved ones. And treading water. Meet the landlocked Mongolian Navy struggling to stay afloat. Hello and welcome to Focus Asia from our studios in Hong Kong. I'm Mark New. We begin our program tonight with a leap back in time. Not just a few years, but tens of millions. Pakistan is one of the few countries in the world which witnessed the extinction of the dinosaurs around 65 million years ago. Researchers have uncovered hundreds of fossilized bones, including some which paleontologists believe prove the hippo and the whale are related. Joe Kynes traveled to western Pakistan to unearth some more interesting facts and fossils. Tracking down clues about the time when giants ruled the earth. This rocky valley is in Pakistan, a place most dinosaur hunters believed had little to offer. All that changed when Mohammed Sadiq Malkani made a chance discovery during a routine survey of the region's mineral resources. Were you very surprised when you found it? Uh, uh, yes, in the first, initially, it is the first dinosaur discovery in Pakistan. And it, is it happened in a rugged corner of Pakistan's Balochistan province, some two days' journey east of Quetta. Since the first discovery there in January 2000, the site has yielded nearly 3,000 bones of prehistoric creatures. The large number of well-preserved fossils is already proving the region will form a key piece of the puzzle over how dinosaurs became extinct. This discovery, uh, Pakistan, it is very significant uh, for Pakistan and also for the world. They can correlate from where these species are found and how during migration it is changed and species variation and phylogenetic rela relations and land bridges and corridors and their pathway of migration. So in every field of research, Pakistan, uh, uh, that is open a new era for this research. Part of what makes Balochistan province so interesting to fossil hunters are the accidents of geology. Tens of millions of years ago, modern-day Pakistan and much of South Asia was covered by a massive sea. But colliding continental plates forced up mountain ranges in this area, revealing a wealth of prehistoric wonders. Pakistan was long considered a place where only marine fossils, ranging from conch to crocodiles, could be found. That picture changed when the first dinosaur bones were uncovered. This particular place from where this fossil bone has been found and more bones now have been found was definitely a sort of uh, an upland. Uh, it was not under the, submerged under the sea. It was a landmass where fresh water jungle was there because these animals are too big to survive on a small, a small plantation. There must be very green spot, very fertile land, and a lot of animals living there. Uh, so it was uh, maybe li like some, uh, some place like Burma or Bangladesh, uh, with a lot of jungles, a lot of trees around here. The age of these fossils may prove to be their greatest asset. They date back 65 million years to the era when it's believed the giant reptiles began to die out because we have got older rocks and younger rocks all preserved, very well preserved in this area. So we will, have, we will be having a very good place to study what geologically what happened, why, uh, what happened which uh, killed all these animals just at a particular time. So definitely Blujistan will become a very important place for study of dinosaur in the uh, near future. Pakistan's fossil heritage is also bringing forth other answers from the mists of time. We were very uh, surprised just to see on these uh, fossils because these, was, uh, these are the unique fossils. Uh, nobody has found uh, each and everything just in situ. It is very hard just to get uh, a bone from stones. 
The 47 million year old bones shattered old theories about how the ancestors of whales moved from land to sea. Munir Ol Haq made the discovery on the first day of an expedition led by American researchers from the University of Michigan. But when the Professor Philip Gengis arrived there, so he said, oh, you, have, you, you know what you found? I said, uh, yes, I know th that what I found, but I just know that I found a whale. And uh, I was not aware of the importance of the specimen. But then he said, oh, I was looking for this specimen for the last 20 years. And today I got it, and thank God. The fossilized creature is considered proof whales are most closely related to hooved animals, like sheep, camels, and hippos. Previous research claimed whales evolved from an extinct carnivore, much like a hyena. The Pakistani fossil is so complete, experts could isolate a tiny ankle bone, which changed the textbooks. Previously, we found so many specimens, but they were just vertebrae, just uh, a piece of humerus, just a piece of uh, um, femur, just a piece of tibia. That was not making any story about the origin of the whales. So you've discovered yeah. what, a missing link? Yeah, it is a miss we, we found a missing link. Yeah, you're right. With thousands of fossils recovered in a relatively short period of time, Pakistan is expected to one day have a collection that will rival anywhere else in the world. But the problem is a question of funding. The Geological Survey Museum here in Quetta, for example, can only display less than half of the artifacts recovered in the field. Most Pakistani government officials want the nation's geologists to spend time on more profitable oil and mineral exploration. Pakistan's new fossil hunters also fear they could be a dying breed unless their countrymen offer more support. Uh, we need more people to come uh, for paleontology. Uh, unluckily, we don't have a specialist paleontologist in our department even. Uh, we have to look towards uh, the Michigan University, who is uh, supervising all these, uh, I mean, uh, projects. So we wish that uh, we can go there for higher studies, for PhDs and things like that, and then we can, uh, I mean, make uh, research. The region's prehistoric heritage has waited millions of years to be discovered. And unless the momentum of recent finds can be harnessed, Pakistan's secrets of the past could remain buried for decades to come. Still to come, the Navy whose shipping lines have all dried up.